See, when I ain't had no money, I still had sauce. If you don't got no sauce, then you, 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 you're lost. But you can also get lost in the sauce. Shit. All right, so, uh, uh, so your boy Diddy, brother Love, P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, um, was arrested, um, taken in, um, 14 page federal indictment, uh, charges from sex trafficking, forced labor, uh, racketeering, um, witness intimidation, obstruction of justice, uh, multiple charges, um, was taken into custody uh today. Today was the second day in court. He tried to uh he tried again to get to uh to get that bond. Fifty million dollars. Second no. judge said no. No. Nah, you can sit down, you know, no, so you gotta sit down no. for your trial. Uh this shit crazy. So um it was some new developments that came out. So apparently when the uh when the houses were raided, he had what a, what, a thousand bottles of baby oil. I don't know. I don't know. I don't they be know. lying sometimes. Ever since he got arrested and everything, you know, and just seeing him go to court and you know being denied bond twice, I just started thinking to myself like, now as a fan of anybody, sometimes you may have to ask yourself, what would you rather deal with? Them dying prematurely. And them going through a situation like this. Well, shit, you die. I'm gonna still find out you was a piece of shit. So, I would rather not. I, I would rather know as little as possible about the people I look for for entertainment. If, uh, if I don't know, I, honestly, but that's where we at sometimes, man. Because come on, man. Like, like this Diddy situation, like I, I do well, think no, that yeah. it is like a like low key in some type of way, like. Like the culture is going to take a somewhat of an L for this situation because you got to understand this man was like the face of the culture for so long. And while he was the face of the culture, these stories yeah. that the niggas was cool with it. So that's why I'm not absolving niggas that are. I'm not uh, absolving yeah. nobody. Like, no, I know you're not. I'm just saying yeah, you that's know why what I'm saying? I can't. I can't do it because of that fact. What you just said. All you niggas knew. Like, I don't give a fuck. Mm. Like, the same way when Bill Cosby got in trouble and all them old people was like, oh, yeah, but Bill, Bill crazy. Bill, Bill do shit like that all the time. It was like, well, then fuck you too then, I guess. Like, I, I, I guess I guess all y'all were pieces of shit. Like, I don't know. I don't make the rules. In the 40s, uh, a nigga was more likely to, to try to marry a 14-year-old. Mm. I'm going to look at that nigga like a piece of shit too. I don't give a fuck what he knew. Um, Sometimes it's hard. Like, I, I, I know niggas that, that'll post the R. Kelly song and be like, I don't give a fuck. This shit hard. Like, nigga... Yeah, that shit is hard, bro. That's and I don't try to. I, I try to go back and I listen to shit, and I'll be listening, and I'll be like, he could easily be singing about a fucking. He could be singing about like a middle school age little fucking girl. And that's why majority of like like, it's like too I hard. like I do think this like I do think like 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 a lot of people who listen to R. Kelly still they listen to him alone. They should. You should. Yeah. You should be ashamed of yourself. And Whoa. I'm, not <laughs> I'm not mad at you. Like I understand separating the art from the artist. Some things. For me, are uh, some things is just when when your you. when the crimes that you committed yeah. can literally be what your art is about. That's when it's yeah. like, all right, nigga. Like I don't know what the fuck I'm really like. The age ain't nothing but a number song for a lid. Yeah. It's hard, bro. That's the one of the hardest songs of all time, and it's unlistenable almost because the nigga that wrote it was fucking this little girl. How can I not? You can't not like, bro. You can't separate that, nigga. You got to just look at it for what it is. Like, this super talented, smart black man is a piece of shit. And guess what? That happens sometimes because we're yeah. normal fucking people. Yeah. The same way yeah. white people They're are human. pieces of shit They're and Mexican human. people can be pieces of shit. You, as a black person, can be a piece of shit. Yeah. You're not, you're not absolved because we niggas. I'm not going to look deeper into it because you look like me. If you do some shit that on his face... Is ridiculously terrible. I'm gonna look at you like you a ridiculously terrible nigga. If it come out that you were fucking children, I'm not gonna have. I'm not gonna try to figure out why this came out. Like I'm not gonna say what. What about the timing of this? Like, I don't give a fuck about the timing of it, nigga. Were you fucking kids? Facts. That's it. Facts. That's it. Were you raping Facts. the hoes? Were Facts. you not able to talk to girls? Yeah, but like this is the thing now because everybody's low key. Just waiting for more shit to get exposed. And I want other shit to get exposed too. But I do have this request. Like, I really do believe if you're going to expose everybody on this black side on, with this black case, 
All the shit that's on the Epstein list, y'all need to reveal that type of shit too. Don't get me wrong, it's different prosecutors, maybe even a different judge, all this type of shit. But at the same time, this is the same courtroom that this motherfucker was stood in and he offered $800 million for a fucking bond and y'all still told him no, none of the shit was released, you know what I'm saying, anybody that was connected to him. Because a lot of people are saying, now, nah, okay, cool, they're going to start. Puffy. Yeah, like like even with Puffy and Epstein, you know what I'm saying, like all the Puffy people that was connected Puffy. to Epstein, you know what I'm saying, they like release that shit, you know what I'm saying. If you're going to do that with Puff, do that with Epstein too. The That's biggest, what I'm the saying. The biggest Puff was fucking around with not powerful enough. You around rich other, uh, you around rich niggas in entertainment and other black celebrities, and you they king. Mm -hmm. Epstein had niggas that were in the government yeah. on that goddamn boat. Yeah, they had to figure out a way to work with him. That's facts. Say, That's facts. That's like, facts. It's about but how it, much power but, you can wield. But here's the thing: you you want to speak about power? This is something. That's really about to play out with Diddy because it played out with Cosby. It played out with R. Kelly, and I'm not absolving anybody for anything no, with this. Wait, 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 wait. Here's the thing. On the black side with black issues, you get convicted in the court of public opinion before you get convicted in the court of law. Everything that's being said on social media about Diddy right now or whatever, whether or not you believe is true or not, at the end of the day, all of that is aiding on it's aiding to him being thrown in prison. You know what I'm saying? Sure. You you know, like whether or not, you know, that should have probably is the thing though. Like I like like I kind of do feel like that's unfair because like, but that's black people but doing that opinion? to black people. Public opinion should not get you convicted in the court of law. I don't think it does. I think it, it does on the black side. Nah, but them white people. I mean, R. Right Kelly. Right about that. R. Yeah, listen, right about R. Kelly. People. R. Kelly is in prison right now. Like, don't get me wrong. He was guilty as fuck for doing the shit that he did. Right. But our but that documentary got right. him thrown in prison. That's what I was just. That's say. what I'm it's saying. Not. So it's the court. It's the court of public opinion that gets you thrown in when it comes to black I issues. Think, I think. I really got to think more about like what you're saying about like the black issues versus white, but like off the top of my head, white people don't do they don't do famous people like that. Even well, if you they, did some fucked up shit, well, yeah, even if do. you did do some fucked up shit, they're not gonna publicly condemn yeah, you. Will. No, yeah, the they fuck will. they did because they still won't do that shit to Elvis. Don't they do that. Did it, they did it to Epstein. I mean, not Epstein. They did it to uh, they. First of all, they did do it to Epstein. What? They, what? Harvey they, Weinstein? Yeah, they did it to Harvey Weinstein. That and was, they do do it to Elvis. They just don't. People just don't care. It's well known what Elvis was doing and how he was fucking with underage girls. Okay, it was also and the they 30s. don't do their heroes the 30s, like that, though. huh? It was no, the no, 30s. no, 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 no. I'm talking about all the way. All, I'm talking about all the way across the board, bro. I, I'm not uh, like I, I, I agree, nigga. It's obviously, obviously, they don't treat us the same way. But if footage comes out of no. anything, bro, if anything can be seen and played, they will kill you. I'm not. I won't. I won't give you that one. Okay. If the, the Epstein shit was the only reason the Epstein shit. I mean, not Epstein. I keep doing that. Weinstein. Weinstein. The only reason the Weinstein shit was inescapable because it wasn't a video was because of the number of yeah, celebrities number. that back that back the claims and shit like that. And those celebrity fans was like, "Oh, fuck this dude." That's what happened to him. The Cosby shit. The Cosby shit. Um, I mean, not Cosby. Puffy. Puffy would have been fine if the video didn't come out. He's exactly. Lying. The reason exactly. why it's not about like public opinion. I mean, it is, but it's not opinion. It's the way the public. I mean, I guess it's public opinion. Yes. But the only reason they, the only reason the opinion changed is because you lied uh, to the public. You told everybody you that didn't you do, do shit, and there's a and video, the video of you beating the shit out of this girl. Not oh, y'all got into an argument. She hit you. You hit her back. There is a video of you maliciously beating a woman while she's on the fucking ground and you running around a hotel in like a, a, a robe Half or naked. some shit. Nigga, uh, uh, you in look a towel. fucking crazy. So anybody with a brain is going to look at that and say fuck this dude. Anybody with a niece uh, or exactly. a daughter or, or a mom or an aunt is going to be like man fuck this nigga. I would have killed this nigga. And that's Fucking real. Right. So Fucking I'm right. not finna, That's the thing. I'm not. I, 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 that's like, the shit that bothers me the most when I see shit like that because it's like it's one thing for you to do some fucked up shit. Okay, cool. But if it's some shit that I know that if it was me that I would crash yeah, I would, out I would over. Do something to you. If I would crash out over this shit, I need you all the way off the street. So like, just like you were saying, like, just like the niggas who defend those type of people, same way. I'm the, like, like I feel the same way about, like about you. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you say some weird shit defending that shit, I feel like you would do the same shit. And I feel like now I may have to get away from you because I'm at the like bust your at, ass open. Now. Pause. I, I look pause. at um, 
Like, I remember when uh, the Cosby shit first had happened, everybody was talking about Elvis. And I didn't know what uh, what aboutism was. But that's all that shit is, bro. Like, like, I know we as black people get mistreated and stepped on and stepped over so many times, bro. It's hard to not see the color in everything because you should see the color in everything because it exists. It's real. That, that shit is real. Don't let these people tell you that they colorblind and all this other shit is bullshit. There's no way you don't see race when you see a black person and you see somebody that's not black. So I'm not going for that. But sometimes criminal shit is criminal shit. And you just got to look at Facts. it. That's why, that's why That's why. that weird-ass uncle at your house that you know is a fucking child molester isn't in jail. Because niggas sometimes look at that shit and just say, you know what, man, I'm not going to turn them in. Or I'm not going to do that. Or I'm not going to talk about this. But that was also accepted in society. It was, but not the, 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 not the last 40 fucking years it wasn't accepted. They, the people just accepted it. Everybody knows that you can't do this type of shit. Everybody knows you shouldn't touch your niece or your nephew or whatever the fuck. But just niggas fucking, do it. But just and they like, get away with it within the family. That's real. We as just, people don't need the what... I, I hate what aboutism in like our community because when you hear that Bill Cosby could have... When somebody says there's a possibility that a nigga raped 70, how, like 70 women, 70 women, that's a big ass number. And then they break it down to you in a way that's almost, even if I don't fully believe it, if they can legitimately go down and be like, nigga, he did five right here in this year and a half, he did three right here in this year, and they go like this, and a nigga been famous for 40, 50 years, and then all the niggas that was around that nigga say, Man, I don't know why he used to do all that. They used to the girls used to like him. You know, he used to do shit like that. I don't give a fuck what Elvis did. I don't look at what white people do as what black people should also be able to do. No. I look at us like I look at us like we help. I look at us to a different standard. Honestly, yeah. I hold as black you should. people to as a different should. standard. I don't give a fuck that Elvis like fucking fourteen year olds, nigga. You knew every black person in the fucking world know you're not supposed to be fucking no little kid. As far back as my granddaddy, that nigga would, hey, you don't, you don't mess with that. Yeah, of course. You don't mess with that. You don't mess with no family. You of don't course. do nothing like that, bro. Of course, but getting, but going back to what I was saying is, I'm not saying that we're trying to excuse or try to be like, oh, yeah, but, but, no, you but what about? But what I'm saying is, again, when it comes to the court of public opinion, that's, how it that's works. what's getting people on like black stars who done got jammed up in these type of situations, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, shit, hey, loose ends and shit came back around. I think a boom. lot of the time these black stars get caught up because they do these things in the country. First of all, they do these things in the United States. Yeah. So when they come out that you done did some shit and it's video evidence or a phone recording or a text message or a picture, the people in that state are going to come. Somebody in that state want to be famous, nigga. Somebody want to be famous. That's how Diddy got it. It's not like this shit just fell out the sky. None of the what's going on with Diddy would be going on if Cassie didn't put that video out of him whooping her ass. Sure. Because she did nah, that. Because none she of did, this shit would have been going on had he just went on and paid her when she was quiet. And she When she was quiet. She gave you a chance. Even that. She way better than, than, than I am. Because I would have took your money and fucked you over. Because you beat my ass. That's what happened though. I, I think he, I mean, she, you got fucked over. And you had to pay me, nigga. You're a dummy. And that's another thing. He thought he was above that shit. He thought he was unto Like, nigga, you're not. I don't even understand anything. And, these and niggas, that's another bro. thing that we get niggas convicted. Look at Tory Lanez. Hey. Another nigga that thought he was above some shit. Exactly. Didn't serious, exactly. Bro. Exactly. And that's why, that's why you can't no do matter that. what y'all niggas say about him Especially being Especially when it comes up, to women being involved and being hurt fault. or abused. Exactly. That was all your fault. No matter how this shit cuts, bro, you played that shit wrong. Exactly. No matter what ended up happening, I don't know if you shot her or not, nigga. All I know is everything that led up to whatever happened was mm -hmm. all avoidable by you, nigga. And everything that happened afterwards was avoidable by you, nigga. Didn't nobody tell that nigga to tweet all that shit he was tweeting? He right. did that shit. Didn't nobody tell him to come out publicly and, and, and antagonize that girl? He did it anyway. Exactly. So guess what you get when you do stupid shit? Yeah. You win stupid prizes. And then and now did, you're in prison. And, and, but here's the thing, though. Diddy had so many chances. He had chance after chance after You're chance. Fucking villain. Because even after the lawsuit and you went on and settled it, you could have straight up said, you know what? I made mistakes in the past. I am not the person that I used to be. I am so apologetic to anything that I may have done to Cassie in the past. 
And we settled this situation. I seek therapy. I'm still working on myself. Yada, yada, yada. Had, had he said that early, though, before the video came out, it wouldn't be no issue. So you had chance after chance after chance to clean this shit up a little bit. To, you know what I'm saying, to have a little bit of people on your side. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, to not even be in this position. Bro, he just not... But these niggas be thinking they untouchable, bro. You see this shit play out every day in regular life, bro. When you give niggas millions of dollars, you give niggas uh, private jets and shit. It ain't even got be. It ain't even got to be millions of dollars. I'm gonna tell you something because it, a lot of the shit that I've seen in this industry, it, it don't even have to be millions of dollars. Sometimes it's just a certain position of power. It could be a little bit of power. It could be a lot of power. But if it's what they want, if it's something that makes them feel empowered and have a little bit of control or influence over whatever, or just being in a position to make people act a certain way. That is enough for people to, to be all the way fucked up across the board. I've seen it too many times. It's a lot of people like that in this game. So just because he's a whole billionaire, we're a former billionaire now, you know what I'm saying, with this type of situation, I mean, it is what it is. And, and the thing is, the shit be so bad because, you know, sometimes people do want to come out and, and, and say something Light nice to defend you. You know oh. what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, prime example, like, Ice Cube came out and said, you know what, I really do think that he's being targeted. And in a way, that really could be true. But this shit's so don't fucked matter. up, yeah. it don't even matter. Yeah, you can be targeted, nigga. I don't care. Yeah, you know Did what I'm saying? Like, this shit's so fucked up. Did you do it? They target niggas that's guilty all the time, nigga. You can be guilty and be targeted. Yeah, facts. Targeted just means that they going out their way for you, nigga. That don't mean you ain't do all this shit. Yeah, we could have got a couple niggas before you, but you did this shit. Yeah. Stop, I, I hate that about yeah. niggas, bro. They try to get that shit off, and then they got, you know what I'm saying? He's so full of shit, bro. The, the brother love thing, and then it's like, nah, I would never put my hands on a woman, especially a black woman. Two months later, you kicking her down the goddamn hallway. I have worked on myself. No, the fuck Look, you, you did, did, nigga. You released Everything that shit about after. This nigga, but you had chance after chance hey, after keep chance. It buck, keep it a buck. The way he act. Acted in all them reality shows that he was on. Yeah. Does that not fit exactly what the like, yep. bro? Like, yep. you can only hide so much of yourself from the public, bro. If you really like deep inside, bro, you think you like that and you treat people a certain way and you like move like you like a mafioso nigga. You can't only hide so much of that. When he told them niggas to go walk and get that stupid ass uh, cheesecake yeah. and dumb niggas, now nah, see if you really want to work for the opportunity, shut the fuck up, nigga. He did that shit to show you exactly where you are on the totem pole, yeah. bro. That's some weird psychological, let me drop my dick on these niggas. That shit is weird. I don't give a fuck what nobody say, bro. Normal people do not behave like that. And I look at niggas a certain way when they, when they defend certain shit. When niggas defend that type of shit, I look at them niggas and be like, huh, kind of, okay, see what kind of nigga. This, this nigga wants to be that kind of nigga. Like he, he can't, but you want to be. I tell, nah. you, off mic, I tell you off mic what I'm thinking about, too. I'll tell you what I'm thinking about later. That, niggas is like that, bro. I don't give a fuck. I'll be uh, Joe Budden. I hear Joe Budden talk about Diddy, like before now, when uh -huh. everybody figured out that all this shit was going on, confirmed. Joe, Joe been hearing the same rumors. He been going around Diddy, going to parties, kicking this shit like that forever. Now that it's public, all of a sudden he's above that. He don't, he don't know nothing about it. I never saw anything. Did you? Did you? Did you really? I know a lot of people who worked closely and with Diddy. And they said they saw things. Not all of them. Really? The, major the majority of them said that they didn't see nothing. Then they didn't work closely with him. I knew somebody who worked so closely he lived in his house. Oh, you talking about? I thought he. T I thought he said some things. Uh -huh. No, 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 no. Okay. No, no. You think about the, the the wrong person in this situation. Okay. Nah, like nah, like literally, like I know somebody who was Diddy's personal chef. Oh yeah, you talking about? Yeah. That and he didn't see nothing. So, like, like stuff like that happens, like, at the end of the day because, hey, R. Kelly was able to hide it for so many years. So, if you got enough money, you can hide Absolutely. it. That's the thing. Had him in the house. If you got enough money, you can hide it, but... um, Secret room. Shit. This some wild-ass shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Just wild times we living in. Wild man. fucking times, for real, though. You know what I'm saying? But I just go by this one rule. This, this is one rule I always live by. Don't let it be you. Because it's Man. easy to talk about somebody. You know what I'm saying? What I'm I mean, saying. like, you know, I mean, we sitting it up happens, here, bro. you know, but, hey, you never know. And, like, at the end of the day, I done been at some parties, you know what I'm saying, where, like, shit getting wild, you know, you got to turn in your phone, leave, some shit like that. I done been in the exact situation and left because I was like, what? 
What? But that ain't your Steve's. Yeah, I look exactly. I looked around. It wasn't my. Like, hold on, That's wait. Exactly technically, what I said. It like be. technically, like technically, like it wasn't really my scene. But I had never been in it, so I was just like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Bro, but, I don't want to be nowhere where other men got their dick out. Facts. I promise you, bro. <laughs> I don't want to run the trains with you niggas. Can't nobody that's. Ever I ain't never did me. no shit like that. Either. Can't nobody. You can go from the second I saw my first pussy to this day. Can't nobody say I said let's let's do it together. Ain't nobody ever gonna say I did that. Ain't nobody ever gonna say they saw me fuck a girl right in front of me. I think you niggas is weird. Honestly, bro. I think y'all niggas is too. I and I'm never into did. some shit, but I think y'all niggas <laughs> is like, all right, whatever, bro. Like, that shit's too freaky. Like, you niggas, like, bro, the idea of a train is crazy to me, bro. Yeah. How you even hard, bro? It's another nigga in the room. All I would be thinking about is the fact that there's another man in the room. I wouldn't be able to focus on anything else, bro. Uh. So I'm not, uh, yo. I'm walking out of, I'm walking out of the sex party. I had a girl try to get me to go to um, what trapeze? I know about trapeze. What's the uh, the store? Um, fuck. Oh, uh, the the store. The girls all go to for their sex toys and shit. Oh, like uh, the, oh, it's like a bunch of them. Yeah, like, you yeah, know yeah, yeah, yeah. Have, like, I can't the Valentino think, type oh, shit. Yeah, Valentino. yeah, yeah. Talking so about they Valentino. got like the bottom joint. They yeah. got like a bottom joint. She was trying to get me to go to the bottom joint. I'm like, what's, I, what's down there? What, I guess what down the, there? they got rooms. They got like private rooms. Okay. So I'm like, okay, you might probably. <laughs> no, 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 no. So I'm like, okay, yeah, it's private rooms. So yeah. she was like trying to get me to go down there, bro. And we go to the joint, and then when I go in, that's when I realize, oh, this is a real live like I had never heard of it. So I'm like, oh, this is like a real live sex place. I had only seen like the like Spencers and yeah. shit like that where they got deal with all the shit in there yeah. like it's jokes. So we go in there. And then the second you go downstairs, bro, you can hear people. Uh, I was like, what the fuck? Like, what this is? Like, it was in the fucking? Yeah. I'm like, what this is? She was like, oh, yeah, you just pick a room. I was like, so who? I did ask. She said that. She said, you just pick a room. I said, who clean the rooms? She was like, I don't know. I, like, I don't want to do this. Like, I'm, like, I'm not turned on. Like, I was like, I'm not turned on. And then the nigga can't. Look, I swear to God, I promise you, a black dude, a black dude walked out of a room, bro, yeah. with like a girl who's holding her hand. He was barefoot, and I was like, I can't, I can't be here. Yeah, I can't be here. He walked out of a sex room <laughs> barefoot, of a bo- like of the bottom, nigga. I said, bro, I can't, I can't fuck with this nigga, bro. Like I can't fuck with this shit, bro. Like I like the girl; she was pretty and everything, P- way too pretty to be with me. And I was like, you know what? Damn, nigga, damn, give yourself some credit. I do shit. give myself some credit, nigga. What you mean, hey, look, bro, bro, listen, way bro. too pretty to be with listen, you, bro. Listen, bro. When I say way too pretty to be with me, I'm saying like, nigga, I'm not a model, nigga. When I when I be back when I get girls that are model quality, I always think to myself, "You lucky to be here, son." What the fuck? I do it sometimes. I do what it. What kind of way of thinking is that? You are lucky to be here. No, the nigga. fuck, I'm not. Why? No, I'm not. Why? Why? Because I know, I got mean? sauce. I, 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 I'm me. I, I know exactly. I got nigga. I know I know how to talk to women and shit like that. I okay, just, so I that's all it. that matters. It's not hard to get. What I'm saying though, sometimes when you back when you back some fine shit. I don't know. Maybe that might be my problem. When I yeah, say it's a yeah, line, yeah, it's a yeah. I think to myself, like, damn, nigga, look at you enjoying the ride. You did it again. Like, all the time. Yeah, like, yeah, of course. Of course. You're supposed like, to feel like shit. that. You're supposed to feel like, like damn, that. Nigga, but I ain't finna like, be. Like, in my head, it's like, nigga, I'm not, I'm not cut up, nigga. I'm not, I'm not Tyrese looking ass, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I, no, that's not like I'm saying Tyrese cute. Exactly, you know, exactly. That's I'm what you're saying. Enough, I'm, I'm mad enough to call another man handsome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't look like Tyrese. So when you bag some shit, that you know is like upper echelon. It's like, damn, bro. Nah, she really fucking with nah. me, bro. Start feeling like a kid, kicking my feet. Of course, of course, Start of course. You supposed to feel like shit. that. You supposed to I feel like that. Happy, bro. Yeah, you supposed to feel like that. I don't that. get down on it. Like, I'm like, oh, man. You supposed she to feel like that. But the whole. I don't think like that. But but, but the whole, uh, well. To be here? Yeah. I don't know, You bro. need to be happy to be here. I don't Whoa. think that's a negative. No, bro. no, no. I'm very happy to be here. Of course, I'm happy to be here because you're a beautiful woman. Of course, all that other shit like that. Yeah, of course. You supposed to feel like that. Not no, oh yeah, you should be thankful that you're here. Fuck that. In my head, all of those are the same thing. Nah, nah. Because it's not like nah, I don't think that nah, I can get you. It's nah, just like, damn, nah, bro. This nah. Is like, I had to chase this. Like, in my, when you really put in work to get a girl that you know is fine, it's like, damn, nigga. Like, you might, I zone out sometimes, me and yeah. conversation, like, damn, look at this shit. Yeah. <laughs> Did it again. Yeah. Did it again, bro. And I'm yeah. always happily surprised with myself, nigga. Okay, I cool. Feel like that. But you ain't locking none of these women down? Yeah, but I'm saying, like, even when we date or, like, it might be my girlfriend for a little while, I'm still, like, well, eventually you kind of stop. <laughs> eventually you do stop looking at it like, oh, okay, I'm, you be like, damn, this is just a girl. But at the same time, initially, 
even when that happens, initially. Next I'm time like, you in this I'm situation, lit. next time you in this situation, I want you to send me her Instagram. I just want to see her Instagram. See bro, you can like. see. I mean, I'm not tripping, bro. I don't date. I don't date anybody that I don't think is like. Yeah, of attractive. course, of course, of course. So I'm that's not, all that matters. Nah, <laughs> that's all that matters. As as you think? Uh, this is my uh, this is my last ex, like my last serious girlfriend. And like, how how, how far as long is this? Right when I started working here is the last time I had a oh. real girlfriend. Okay, let but me I'm, see. But I'm uh, chocolate. I, I like I like uh, yeah. dark skinned women. Uh, oh, saying, shit. I really oh. don't care. I really oh, don't care. oh, it looks you like she's doing pretty good. It looks like she's doing pretty good for herself. Like, you know, some looks you know, like she knows she's picking up a few dollars. Nah, she does. She got a job or whatever. Okay, but oh. uh, that's what I'm saying, though, bro. Like, when you oh, get workout get, vids, workout videos, hey, know what I'm saying, bro? Hey, but when, I be, when you finally bag some shit, like, I, I put in work to bag her, and I did feel cool, and eventually it was like, eh, I really like her, but it's this, this, and this. So that's just how it goes sometimes. Like, you know what I'm saying? Man, I'm you funny. Up. You funny. <laughs> you funny. Up, bro. You funny. Hey, man. So, yeah, Diddy, um, I know this situation is probably going to be unfolding more as time progresses. And I'm definitely uh, here to have more conversations about it, you know what I'm saying, as new details emerge. Um, it's kind of sad seeing all this play out. But when you have loose ends, they'll come tie your ass up. And that's just what it is. It'll be all right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, he'll be all right. I mean, you know, because at the end of the day, regardless of what you're going through right now, you were still living better than all of us before. So, hey, you straight. You be all right. I think you fine, nigga. You'll be all right. Just uh. live, you know what I'm saying? You live, what's this? This is like your 35th year of being rich, nigga. You'll be all right. You right. was broke before. Yep. So just, you know what I'm saying? You could do You could do what? You probably live another <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Then he got, then he got like 25, 30 good years left in him, man. Like, maybe they'll give you 15 to 20, bro. And you'll be able to come out a reform nigga. All I know is if half of the shit these people done accused you of, I don't give a fuck. If, if that shit is true, I don't really give a fuck what happened to you. All bro. that shit is on the table. All that shit yeah. got put back on the table when we saw that video, which is why we're here right now. Lawyer and said, that's it. The lawyer said the day that he done interviewed everybody that they're going to use in the case, and he don't see nothing that one consensual. It was men in that interview. I was like, damn, so the rumors of this nigga fucking on dudes is real. I, I'm i not a person that puts, I don't like putting, even though I don't give a fuck about anybody being gay, bi, trans, or whatever, I still don't put being gay on men that tell you they are straight because I feel like that's just too disrespectful. Yeah. And I don't like when we do that on the internet. Like I, was yeah. just, I just told uh, one of our coworkers not to just stop playing with me. Because she said Meek is gay. And I was like, bro, that's why these niggas get on the internet and say all that crazy ass homophobic shit. Because they, first of all, they already slick don't agree with uh, being gay. And then they be like, all right, I'll play the game because I want to be in the public eye. And then y'all say some shit like that. And then make one of them niggas go back to before they had money. And they say the most ignorant, worst shit they could possibly say. I don't even want, even though I don't agree with them saying that shit, I understand where it comes from. Mm -hmm. It don't come from just out of the sky. It's a response to mm -hmm. playing around with these niggas. But when it turns out that you niggas that you actually are closetedly uh homosexual and you like watching other men fuck your girlfriend and stuff like that, we get to have a conversation about it. That's funny. I'm sorry. I don't think yeah, it's funny, funny. That, uh, yeah I don't I'm sorry <laughs> bro. I don't think it's funny that you gay, but I do think it's funny that you hit it. I think that's funny. And I don't, I don't. I For think all funny. these years. You got Wendy Williams fired because she said you was gay. That's funny. That's funny to me, bro. Like, I'm sorry, bro. I know somebody lost their job or whatever. Man, that nigga probably woke up panicking when she did that shit. Of course. It's like 2000, 2001, and she said that shit on the radio. I would have got her fired, too. I would have got her fired, too, bro. But yeah, bro. I, I, uh, this shit is shout out to the victims, be though. funny. And like the That's series that they do. On dude, when this is all over, that shit gonna be good. They gotta get little JJ to play Diddy. <laughs> they gotta get little JJ to uh, play Diddy, man. HBO shit, not HBO. Uh, Hulu, FX. Hulu, uh, yeah. yeah. Let's Aaron go ahead and Hernandez. I'm gonna yeah. watch that. I'm gonna watch it. Yeah, I saw even, watch that, it. even though that, that whoever they got playing Aaron just don't look big enough. I ain't seen none of the screens or anything. But Aaron Hernandez was like six five, yeah. two something. Yeah, yeah. That nigga looked like he like five ten, five eleven, bro. I uh, need to be a mer <laughs> They couldn't find a big ass. <laughs> they couldn't find a tall Latino dude to play Aaron Hernandez. Like, why isn't a short dude playing Aaron Hernandez? What? <laughs> 
Okay. Uh, I'm going to just say this as we close out this uh, episode. I want you to uh, look at the people who work in this building and see how tall they are. What you mean? The people who work in this building. Oh, you talk hey, exactly. Hey, and see how tall they are. You know how hard that like is. That. Brother, you know how hard it is hey, to find somebody out, that, that damn tall. Shout out Daenerys. Shout out my brother Daenerys, bro. One day I was at his crib and I said, "Man, you short." And we was talking about something. He's like, "Dumb bitch, you think everybody supposed to be football size?" <laughs> He's like, "You think everybody supposed to be football size? The average nigga is not six feet." In my head, though. The average human is six feet tall. Like you should start at six feet, and then you either big average height. Average height is five, five nine. Eight. I five thought nine. it was five eight. That nigga was mad as shit, bro. That nigga say, "Dumb bitch." <laughs> Football is not the only way to view size, nigga. And you're right, bro. That I was definitely wrong. Five nine. Five nine. Normal. Average height. Yeah, shit. Five being a five nine man sounds crazy, nigga. I think yeah, I was five nine you. in middle school. What the fuck you? So you're not five nine. Yes, I am. For real? Yes. God damn, bro. I'm five. What's wrong with being five nine? Nothing, it's just average man. fucking height. <laughs> shit. <laughs>